Here's a quick news break. We always truly, I'm the one and only. Let go by the name of my Mr. Telefero. Please make sure you're following your boy. It's on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. It's at it's Mr. Telefero. Congratulations are in order for the boy. Canada's own, sometimes Memphis's own, sometimes Atlanta's own when he's on Peach Street. Houston's own sometimes once every few years. Congratulations to Drizzy Drake as he has been officially named Billboard's Artist of the Decade, all right? That award show is taking place on May 23rd in which Drake will be honored uh, this year for his dominance over the last decade. Let's be clear about it. This was Drake Awards to lose. Drake first appeared on the Billboard charts back in 2009. And then from there, he just continued to dominate. He had nine Billboard 200 number ones in the 2010s. His first started with his debut studio album, Thank Me Later, and most recently being that 2019 care package that he dropped off for the people. He scored six hot num 100 number ones in that span. Since his debut, he has obliterated numerous charts, including the most hot 100 top 10s. To date, that's 45. And overall entries, Drake had has had 232 hot 100 entries over the last decade and some change in his dominance continues. Drake also holds the title for the most Billboard uh, Music Awards with 27 after taking home 12 in 2019. And again, congratulations to Drake, Drizzy Drake. The award show will be hosted by Nick Jonas. Just for clarity, here are the other artists that finished out the top 10 for top artists of the 2010s. Number one is Drake. Number two was Taylor Swift. Number three was Bruno Mars. Number four was Rihanna. Number five was Adele. Six was Ed Sheeran. Seven was Justin Bieber. Bieber eight, Katy Perry. Nine, Maroon Five. And number 10 uh, was Post Malone. All right? That just tells you how dominant Drake has been. You look at the, the list of artists that Drake's in the category with. For the most part, he's the only pure hip-hop. Um, shout out Rihanna and shout out Post Malone. But Drake is purely hip-hop and R&B. So congratulations to Drizzy Drake on his accomplishments that he has had, man. What a legendary career. What better way to celebrate your accomplishments as being named the biggest artist of the decade than to go celebrate with one of your idols? Drake posted this on his Insta story account. He's with the legendary, great, new hairstyle rocking Ronald Osley. He said, today was one of those days that didn't feel real. Waking up to artists of the decade and having dinner with my idol, Ronald Osley, and listening to the stories behind every song that shaped my love for emotional music and created my formula for a lot of my writing. I'm high off life right now, my Gs. You know, at one point in time, Drake said he was going to retire at the age of 35. But now he's close to the age of 35. And my question to you guys is, would you call it quits? We know he's got a new album coming any day now, Certified Lover Boy. He's still on top of his game. Maybe you think Lil Baby's a bigger rapper than Drake is today, but that's one artist. And a lot of people don't think that, by the way. And obviously, Drake's still a bigger global act than Lil Baby today. So would you quit with all this dominance, still atop the rap game with so many people who have fallen off that came by a hit record? And somehow, someway, Drake is still atop the charts. He seemingly still comes around when things are cool enough, when he's picking artists for his features, when he hopping on other dudes' records. It seems like he always just does it better than everybody else. Would you retire right now? Would you leave the sport as you've just been named Billboard's top artist of the decade? Congratulations to the boy. Thank y'all so much. Time loves support. I don't take it for granted. Salute. I'm out. Catch four new episodes of Pharaoh's music-based platform, every day only on youtube at it's mr telefero you can also find clips updates giveaways and more on facebook instagram and twitter also at it's mr telefero for all basketball fans make sure you tune in to Farrell's daily highlights reports and commentary on youtube at hoops Farrell. and even more updates on facebook instagram and twitter at hoops Farrell as well